In today's technical corner, we're going to be talking about the KOR5, the king of roughing. Richard, yep. what is the king of roughing? Uh, the king of roughing was actually something that um, Titan, who is a guy we've got to tie up in the States, uh, it was something he, he proposed originally. Uh, our guys uh, in Germany looked at it in the States. And essentially what it is, is it's to use dynamic milling to produce um, high rates of metal removal. Uh, it differs greatly on conventional milling. It's not a full slotting cutter, it's a radial engagement cutter. And the idea behind it is modern CNC machines with modern programming, you can use that to your benefit. Uh, it's called the Core 5. The reason we're doing it exactly right, King of Roughing, but you can see here it has five flutes. What that gives you is around about 66% feed rate increase over a traditional three fluted end mill. Now it's designed purely for aluminium, um, and in aluminium because of the, the chip clogging problem you won't want anything normally more than three flutes. However if you're using a radial engagement system mm -hmm. you can use five flutes uh, and then when you do the maths on this and you compare it to say a full slot in say one, one and a half times D, you can get far more metal removal rate with this mm -hmm. tool. So th this is going to be great for airway structures, large, where, yeah. you, where you're removing 80% of the material sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. So if you've got a big wing rib, um, and say you've got it on a Starag, uh, they want to get that material out. You don't want to have, have a lot of pockets in that, like you said, 80, 90% material removal. Uh, the idea is you get the, the, the material out as fast as possible. Yeah. And this and is what this tool does. And you've got your chip splitters, so even yeah. if you engage the full length, which I'm sure you will. Yes, you can. You, you can nice short chips, so you're not choking, going into corners or Absolutely pockets Absolutely not. Things. I mean, it shows on the video, but you can actually, um, if you're doing peripheral milling like this, you can see that the, you just see with your naked eye how much faster it is. You've also got with this chip splitter and the helix angle, you get an extremely good finish on there. But yeah, when you're in pockets, uh, you've got a big through coolant mm -hmm. on this. Um, you blast out all the chips, mm -hmm. and they are very fine chips, uh, more than you would on a conventional. So you say the productivity is uh, two thirds greater, but that's yeah. not just because you've added a couple of teeth, is it? There's a lot more to it than no, that. No, no, we've got um, we've got a W-shaped uh, flute, and um, we've got a parabolic core on this, and the tool itself uh, has, has been designed purely around machining aluminium. So we're not. This isn't a universal tool by any means, and it's really designed uh, for the roughing process. I say you can finish with it, it does a really good finish as well. So it, you have to change your strategy essentially, don't you? People yeah, who are absolutely. doing full slot and things, maybe you have to trachoid or mill or just... It, we call it dynamic milling, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, um, the idea behind it is that we're going to have a whole platform, or we are having a whole platform of what we call KOR cutters and they're all dynamic milling, so it's just radial engagement milling. Mm -hmm. You can ramp with a tool, so you can call, you know, helically interpolate and then create your pocket from that. Uh, but we're now gonna have them, uh, as of September, we're gonna have them in uh, at steels and then titaniums as well. Marvellous, and obviously aerospace is the obvious one here. Yeah. But it's not just aerospace, is it? It's anyone that's doing large amounts of t uh, aluminium. Correct, yeah, I mean, uh, medical is another, you know, we all know what's happened, don't we, in the world. So uh, medical areas, yeah, anyone machining large amounts of al aluminium. And I think pumps, things like that as well, there are, there are um, you know, applications that use tools like this. Yeah, for sure. And that's, I, I see that's where technology is going now. It's more application specific. General yeah. purpose tools are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but if you're doing a lot of aluminium, you really should have a, an aluminium tool. Absolutely. And, and as I say, that this is, de is designed to have, um, you've got to use the most modern CNC machines with the best programs or, and we all know who they are and they're becoming very popular now and with the, with the current programming technology it's very easy to use dynamic milling and if you're going to do that then this tool absolutely stands out. And I also note it's got safe lock, why is that? Yeah, the, the reason you've got the safe lock there um, and we sell the safe lock hydraulic chuck, um, it's because there's a lot of court cutting forces on that tool because you're using generally three times D or you can go even higher than that. Uh, there can be a tendency in modern machines that it wants to pull the tool out. And you might not see that with the naked eye, but it will pull it out enough that it could disrupt it. So yeah, definitely, if you're using this tool in a serious manner in an aerospace environment, I would definitely recommend you use a safe lock holder. Sure, just two final ones for me. Just if I can ask you to conclude, who would buy this tool and why would they buy it? And where can people find out more information? Uh, 
Well, well, to answer that one um, first, I mean the information, uh, the videos, and um, the catalogues are all on our website. You can also see them on YouTube, but the website gives you uh, complete access to the videos and the catalogues. The people that would use this, uh, I would say, as I say, aerospace is is, is going to be your absolute number one. But you're absolutely correct. Um, there are, are medical applications and general engineering applications as well, metrology applications. Uh, I know we have Major a very sports. big metrology customer. Mm. Motorsports would be another one, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it's, it's anywhere you want to get high metal removal rates in aluminium. But as I say, we've got another two sets of tools coming, which will be core uh, five, which will be for steels, and then core six, which will be for titaniums. Brilliant. So that's the uh, that's the, the KOR, the king of rough infant metal. Thanks for watching.